Just to take his time, and as I say, cut mistakes down to a minimum. Don't stretch. Mohamed hasn't really landed any punches as yet. Uh, there was a balance thing from Sanchez. Silver and gold, Kid Vegas. Caught by a right hand. That's the uppercut that he used to dislodge. Left hand there from Sanchez was a good one. Too ambitious, but that's what he needs. I've always felt he has to gain confidence. He can do that by getting a cut. He's on the floor. Gerogi Sanchez. The referee is outrageous. He is not scoring that enough. Hammer trying to get his power punches into his own. Hammer tucked with that shot. Sanchez is hurt. Should he be trading? Has he got the power up again? Hand. Left hand. And Hammer nearly went down. Sanchez is catching Hammer with some clean shots. Back comes the Prince. Well, let's have another look. There's the punch. There it goes. In Madison Square Garden with Kevin Kelly there. All over the place, Hammer. He might try and blow Sanchez away now. This could be a tear up in the third round. Left the game from Sanchez. And in desperate trouble. He tries. Sanchez does something to at least enhance his reputation. Well, he's done that already. Left hand from Hammond was a good one. And now Sanchez is wobbling. But back comes Augie. Hammond smiles. This is a right tear up. Just like Kevin Kelly. <laughs> Left hand from Hammond. And Sanchez going as well for him. He's caught. Hammond with a left hand. Looking for the right uppercut. There's a lot of blood on Nassim Hammer's shoulder. I don't know where that's come from, but a little left inside. And Sanchez. And one point away from Nassim Hammer. First round. And, and, and he's trying to atone for it. Because I don't think Hammer. Sting him with a counter now. But back comes Sanchez. But he's caught by a left hand. To the ground, caught the left, poking jab by Hammond. Now, now starts to work the body. He's starting to get on top. Good left hook, right hand. And Ogie Sanchez is down, and it's serious trouble. Michael Ortega goes over. The fight is over, and Nassim Hammond retains his WBO featherweight title. It was not a perfect performance, but it was exciting. And we all wrote Augie Sanchez off beforehand. Well, I felt he might be able to put up a show. That's the best I was hoping for. I didn't expect him to. I, I thought Naz, I picked Naz in three rounds, but I was hoping it would be a good fight up until then, and it certainly was. And still, the undefeated featherweight champion of the world, Chris Hansen Hammond. 35 out of 35, the five-year reign completed as featherweight champion of the world.